hi guys welcome to our channel so in today's tutorial i'll be teaching you how to make this beautiful butterfly rich skirt with side ruffle so guys if you are new to our channel kindly stay back like and subscribe to this channel and always turn on your notification bell so you can get updates from us whenever we post a new video so guys let's get straight into the video the required measurement needed for this rich skirt is the length of your skirt the waist measurement the hip measurement the knee length and basically that's all so guys this is actually a longer one we are going to be a long skirt we are just going to be multiplying our measurements by two okay for instance the length of this skirt is 39 so because this is actually going to have a band one and a half inches band so you just subtract one and a half from 39 and we have 37.5 so i'm just going to be multiplying 37.5 by two so we have 74 so the length of this skirt is going to be 74 okay for the width of this skirt your hip measurement divided by four is 9.25 so it's going to have a side ruffle so and we are going to be using 10 inch for the side ruffle and we are going to add extra one inch because we'll be folding the side so that means we are going to add extra 11 inch so 9.25 plus 11 inch we have 21.25 so we'll just mark 22 so that means the width of our skirt is going to be 22 you are just going to be folding 22 okay just fold it's going to be on double fold 22 for the front bodies so you are going to mark 22 so our fabric is already on fold 22 as the width then i'm just going to be taking the length which is 74 right so rem remember you're just going to take your measurement one and a half inches off since it's going to have a band then i just marked 46 over there then because this actually the length of my skirt is actually longer than my tape so i stopped at 46 so you just place your measurement there and continue so i'm just going to mark 60 then remaining 14 right 60 from 74 so i'm going to be marking 14 like you see me doing so that's the length of our skirt I just went ahead to confirm if i'm still on track then you have to adjust actually it's not easy working with this fabric you know you need to use a lighter fabric when making this skirt you are going to add an extra half of an inch or one inch for the folding so i'm just going to open it up like you see me doing sorry guys this didn't actually captured when when i actually cut through the other side okay so but for the back i it it actually captured i didn't realize this until i was editing this video i'm so sorry about this guys so for the back i'm just going to be adding a zipper allowance okay just fold your fabric and remember to add zipper allowance so that means our fabric that is going to be on fold will be 22 inches plus one inch or one and a half that will be adding as a zipper allowance so making it 23.5 inches because i added one and a half zipper allowance so i'm just going to be marking it's going to be on fold 23.5 inch then i'm going to be marking out my zipper allowance which is 1.5 just like you see me doing so you are going to mark 1.5 until you get to the end of this skirt okay i'm just going to be connecting with my ruler just connect your zipper allowance with your ruler i also went ahead to open up the zipper allowance okay that is the center back so you're just going to open this up cut through the center back and this will serve as the zipper allowance so guys here is our zipper allowance and also for this waist i went i came down by one inch so that's going to be our start line because we'll be adding half of an inch for the joining to the band okay so our waist measurement is going to start on that line now we are going to be imputing our hip line 
remember you are going to your measurement is going to start one and a half inches off okay so our hip measurement ordinarily is eight but we are going to be multiplying it by two so we are going to make it 16 so i'm just going to mark on the 16 and connect with a straight ruler so that's our hip line also the knee line the knee line we are using is 21 multiplied by two is 42 so i'm just going to mark measure 42 okay remember this is actually long so you have to be careful when working with this so just make sure your material is well is in place then we stopped at 16 that's the hip line so just from that 16 you're going to be measuring 42 which we serve as the nail line so i'm just going to be connecting with a straight ruler just connect straight okay so that's our nail line and from the knee line, the remaining part we serve as the length, the hem of our skirt. So on this knee waist measurement, the waist measurement that I'm using is 6.5. Divide your waist by 4, whatever you have. Mine is 6.5. Then I'm just going to be adding extra 11 inch for the side ruffle. It's actually 10 plus 1 inch for the folding. So you go to your hip measurements, hip divided by 4 is 9.25, max 9.25 and add 11 inch as the side ruffle. So I'm just going to be connecting from the waist to my hip. Can you see what I'm doing? So you're just going to connect with a straight ruler. Then I'm just going to move to the knee line measurement. On the knee line measurement, we're just going to subtract 1 inch from our hip measurement remember we had 9.25 so subtract one from it i'm just going to mark 8.25 on the new measurement then i'm going to add extra 11 inch for the side ruffle okay so you're just going to be connecting with a straight ruler from the hip measurement to the new measurement guys watch what i'm doing if you don't understand what i'm saying you also go to the hem of this skirt and i'm going to be measuring the same eight inches that i had on my needle line just measure it and add extra 11 inch for the side ruffle sorry this actually didn't cop captured well but you're just going to measure the same thing exact thing you had you measured on your needle you are going to measure the same thing at the hem of this skirt then you are going to connect with a straight ruler okay so guys basically that is all we are just going to be cutting through this line this so guys for this particular style you don't need a heavy material you just need something that is light okay so that it can give you this effect you need something that is light don't use a thick material please use a chiffon material something that is just light okay i also went ahead to notch my zipper allowance just notch that place so you don't mix it up you are going to notch your zipper allowance then i'm going to open this up i'm going to be stitching the side just go over i'm going to stitch the first side remember the stitch is going to be at the right side okay you are just going to be folding this four side the hips area you are just going to be folding so i'll do that and show you what to do make sure you fold for the back don't fold the zipper allowance fold the other side the sides towards the hips okay that's what you do after i was done doing that this is what it looks like can you see just take your time and fold the fourth side and also fold the hem of your skirt now we are to impute our body measurements remember the waist measurement that i'm using is 26 divided by 2 is 13 so i'm just going to be marking 10 inch for the side ruffle you remember our side ruffle is 10 so guys i went ahead to confirm my waist measurement and i have 13 over there so i'm just going to be going to my hip measurement remember it is one and a half inches off the max 16 so that's my hip line for this skirt so on that line i'm just going to be marking 10 inch our side ruffle is 10 so mark 10 inch 
on one of the sides and go to the other end and mark 10 inch on that hip line okay so just go ahead and confirm if your hip measurement is actually the same thing so you are just going to connect with a straight ruler connect the waist and the hip measurement together using a straight ruler notes we are going to be stitching on the act on the main face that is the right face so connect the second side connect from your waist to your hip i'm also going to the nail measurement just mark from 16 inch down to 42 from 16 inch down to 42 and i'm going to be measuring 10 inch from away from the side row just watch what i'm doing guys if you don't understand what i'm saying move over to your nail measurement and mark 10 inches away from the side that will serve as the side row phone do that on both sides okay on that knee line just measure 10 inch or whatever that is your side row phone so i'll just go ahead and connect from my hip line to the knee line using a straight ruler connect the two sides okay also guys this side ruffle can be more than 10 inch you can decide to use 10 12 15 you can decide to use less than that then when you get to the hem of this skirt also measure 10 inch from the sides and connect with a straight ruler so we have successfully imputed our body measurement so the next thing that we'll do we're just going to remember where my waist measurement is just notch that line on that line notch the two sides okay then i'm just going to be folding just fold in like you see me doing also for the back i'm just going to place the front and the back together measure from the zipper allowance just measure from that zipper allowance measure your waist measurements and notch there then from that place that I just notched, I'll go ahead and fold. I'm just going to be folding, okay? I'm just going to be folding for the two sides. Do not forget to fold the front as well. Please, you are going to be folding both the front and the back. I'll show you what it looks like after folding. So guys, I've gone ahead to fold this. Can you see? It looks so beautiful. So ensure you fold the four sides, okay? Then the next thing I'll do, I went ahead to do on that line where i marked my body measurement i went ahead to stitch down all the way from the waist to the hem of this skirt okay so you are going to be stitching just make sure you follow stitch on that line then i'm going to be creating a channel for our elastic just allow the spacing to be like three quarter of an inch just a channel where your elastic can pass through so you are going to have two lines okay you are going to be having two lines so that our elastic can pass our elastic through that channel you repeat the same thing to the second side of the skirt can you see how the inside looks like so guys that is what you are going to be doing the next thing we'll do for this elastic i'm just going to be taking the actual length skirt length which is 39 minus 1.5 that is 37.5 so i'm going to be measuring 37.5 for my elastic and you cut this out make sure you have two of these because we are going to be using the two the elastic for the two sides of our raw food okay so you are just going to impute this elastic on the channel that we just created. Please, guys, if you don't understand what I'm saying, just watch what I'm doing. This is easy and it is not difficult. Just pass your elastic through the channel that you just created. You are going to be doing this for the two sides. So, guys, this is it. After I was done doing that, I went ahead to secure this with a safety pin so that this will not pull out before stitching so i'm just going to stitch push the elastic inside i'm doing it in such a way that it will not be showing can you see just push your elastic in between the channels that we just created so that by the time we would go ahead to our sewing machine you are just going to be top stitching 
is not going to don't make it to be visible you do that for the four side both the upper part and the lower part we are just going to be cutting the band for this skirt and the length of my waist is 26 you are going to add extra inch maybe like three to four inch just have enough of this so it's going to be unfold the length of our band is 1.5 so we're going to be adding half of an inch to this making it two inch so we're going to be cutting two inch on fold so guys after i was done cutting i went ahead to my ironing table i'm just going to add sprinkle a little water then i'm going to fold in half of an inch like you see me doing just fold it until you get to the second the other end then i'm just going to fold into two like you see me doing add a little water then iron this carefully just be careful when ironing it make sure your iron is not too hot okay so i'm just going to iron this and fix this to my skates so guys take your time when doing this you just have to take your time after i was done doing this i went to place my band the parts i'm just going to place the right side the part that i didn't fold the other side i didn't fold i'm just going to place it to the wrong side of my skirt i'll secure this with a pin just make sure you pin this round from this end until you get to the other end secure this with your pin and i'll go over ahead to my sewing machine and stitch using 0.5 inch just go ahead and stitch using 0.5 inch so guys i'll do that and show you what next to do i've gone ahead to stitch this and this is what it looks like the next thing i'll do i'm just going to fold over as like you see me doing then i'll secure with my pin just pin this round when you measure it you discover that we have 1.5 inch can you see that's our 1.5 inch band so i'm just going to be pinning this round i'm just going to be pinning this round until i get to the second end then go back to my sewing machine and top stitch also i'm going to be fixing my zip this video is already long so i don't want it to be longer than this and that will be the end after fixing the zip to my dress so guys this is the final outcome and it's looking so beautiful if this is your first time visiting our channel do not forget to give us a thumbs up like and subscribe to this channel and also share this video until i see my next video bye